Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. <laughs> yeah, he's actually not here today, so don't expect anything. He said he's done being on my channel because he doesn't like being bullied into going into the closet. He's filing a restraining order against me. Okay, burst out. That Didn't you read the script? That's when you burst out. I'm here! <laughs> oh! <laughs> So today we're gonna be watching Ken, the living doll, a guy who dedicates his life to getting surgeries to look like Ken. Something about Ken is that he doesn't have the male genitalia. That's why I wanna know if this Ken guy got a Ken crotch. It was always so annoying when you got JC Plenty and then mannequins that are wearing underwear, like there's nothing there. I know, it's like, come on, give it a schlong, JC Penny. Just kidding, that's, what? We already reacted to the girl addicted to butt injections. I'm excited to see the difference between her and this Ken guy. This Ken guy won't have a big ass. No, I'm pretty sure he got butt implants too. He has a butt, Ken? I'm Justin Jedlicka, I'm 32 years old, and I'm a living doll. What was he doing in the mirror? That looked dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that to your skin. That's so rough. Some people even say washing your face with your hands two times a day is too rough. He's taking a power drill <laughs> and rubbing it against his face. But his skin looks good, so like, should I try it? I think he's wearing like foundation and shit. That's his daddy. Did you say, how's it daddy? That's his daddy? Oh, he's the daddy. Kind. Yeah. I've had 125 procedures. 125 procedures and he looks like he's in his 20s. Like, is he booked all year? Once every three days, a new procedure. That would be stressful. Also, where's he getting the money from? And it's been $158,000 to make me really resemble a doll. Okay, does he resemble a doll? Honestly, they do look really alike. Gay Beverly Hills Ken. Who has a sugar daddy. And really likes plastic surgery. Chic. And um, chest was first then moved on to bicep implants, tricep implants. Oh my God, what are we doing? I'm canceling my gym membership. I've been paying for a gym for years. All that money could have just gone to some silicone. Yeah. Look at that. With the $20,000, this is what it would look like. See how hot I look? In all seriousness, do you think this is the future? Because girls get breast implants. Like, do you think it's in the future men will get muscle implants uh, and it'll just be a regular thing? Like, it's his 18th birthday, let's give him <laughs> biceps. I don't think it will be the future. Or like, Roger isn't getting a wife, let's give him some shoulder muscles. They like don't look healthy at all, but they have shoulder muscles that are like laminate. <laughs> Just for that. Yeah, but they have a bail bubble. Yeah. Also, I feel like I'd be worried about that because like breasts are one thing, like they're just sitting there. But like muscles, like if someone really pushes it, could you like wrap it around? Yeah, like, couldn't you like move it? Wouldn't it like bind a little bit? I don't know. Should I make a consultation appointment? When I was probably about 12 or 13, I used to always watch Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. And I always had this idea in my brain, I, I wish that my family could have been this family that was wealthy. And, and that was always sort of a wish list. It was a dream in my in my mind. This was so close to happening to me. I'm TV Cribs. I saw someone had this and I almost got it. What'd they have? Like a pool, so I wanted a pool. You're not altering your body. Oh yeah, it's similar though. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up sort of emulating what I thought a lot of those wealthy people look like. You know, they all had plastic surgery. Who knows, maybe all those superhero guys, it's all just plastic surgery muscles. That's what I want to believe. That's what I'm gonna tell myself when I feel bad. If I'm watching like Thor or something, I'll be like, it's all just silicone. He didn't actually go to the gym. Now, I'm developing uh, a customized muscle enhancement implant line at this moment. A plastic surgery implant line. My new merch. I lived in a lower income family and there wasn't a lot extra to go around. And the one thing that we could afford to do is for me to be able to buy paper and a pen and be able to sit down and sketch. This is what's so weird about stuff like this is that, like it seems all fun in games, but like then you start hearing the backstory and it kind of just seems like he's trying to solve his problems I in the know. past or something. I just want to sit him down and be like, you're beautiful just the way you are, honey. You know what I mean? I feel like that would, that would solve everything. <laughs> <laughs> if I, if me, if I walked up and said, you're beautiful just the way you are, honey, he'd be like, that's it. Like he would, snap, he would snap out of it and like remove all the implants and be like, this is real, <laughs> this is me. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be now. It might be good if I looked into like just enhancing my eyes a little bit, maybe doing a little bit of permanent eyeliner. What? Permanent eyeliner though? 
I guess. Can you, know. you just put it on every day? Like, it's five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> like, it's not that long. Well, I've been thinking about ways to augment my abdominal muscles. Okay. About doing six or eight of the abdominals. The doctor is over it. And he just looks pissed. Justin comes in every day and is like, will you give me ankle implants? And he's like, just leave me alone. I know, I know you're giving me so much money, but yeah. I, I'm over it. I'm not gonna give you an elbow cushion implant. Look at that doctor's face. He looks tired, fed up. He just needs a sleep. He's like, please, Justin's here again. No! <laughs> so I came up with some sketches. So we take a mold. He's like, I'm not gonna follow these sketches. I'm the doctor. The most prepared patient ever. He brings his own implants to the procedure. <laughs> Can you picture like getting a boob done and being like, I brought my own implant. Oh my god, a good way to save money. Yeah, just bring two chicken breasts. Yeah, them how you two want frozen them chicken breasts. <laughs> that you can put these into my arm to save some money. How do you afford all this stuff? <laughs> I spent $158,000 on procedures. And a lot of people question where that money came from, but I didn't take vacations. I didn't buy new furniture. I never bought a new car. So it's not a sugar daddy. He's just doing it himself. He's saving it up. It's so funny how the doctor wasn't even believing it. He's like, how are you even affording this? It's like, is that really into your business, sir? <laughs> I know, why was the doctor asking that? Don't you just want the money? <laughs> Instead of watches, I got biceps. <laughs> you know? My biceps and pec implants will be with me long after any of that jewelry probably would be. Come on! At first I thought that was Kris Jenner, I'm not even kidding. I thought the same exact thing! I thought those were boobs for a second. I know. Does Kris Jenner go to his doctor though? Because they do look very similar. Even though face looks the same. I know! I wanted to flatten the brow bone that I had here. Mm -hmm. So I had to do a coronal cut across the top. They need to stop showing the doctor. I, it just <laughs> makes me tired. <laughs> he is over it. Like, first of all, you're on camera. Like, at least the, the one day the camera crew's there, maybe pep it up a little bit. He Drink some coffee. He basically rolled his eyes at him. I know. Something. I feel like he's trying to, like, have an inside joke with the audience. Like, just so you guys know, like, I'm not on board with this, but I'm still gonna do the surgery and take all this money. <laughs> yeah. I always get a little bit apprehensive when I have patients that come in and they've had multiple procedures. They generally are seeking something that is perhaps unobtainable. He's like, yeah, like when people like Justin come in, I don't want to do it, but I still do it. I still take all their money and tell them to come back. And this one's just way too low all over. And this one was actually put in backwards, believe it or not. Oh my God, he's having so many problems with the implants. Like that sounds so stressful. This one flipped, this one's too low. Is it even worth it at that point? Like maybe instead of investing $150,000 into the implants, I'm sure it's way less to get a trainer and just do it the old fashioned way. Eat some chicken breast instead of inserting them into your body. I think if you walked for six months and had a trainer, you could do that. You could yeah. get it. He's so dedicated to this. Just dedicate it to the gym and you wouldn't have to get cut open. Justin, if you're watching, we will be your trainer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, so, we're so fit. By the way, Jacob has an at-home workout on his channel if you guys want to watch it. You're uh, a famous influencer now. I do have an at-home workout. Like, it it makes you fit. It's for, yeah, quarantine life. This video is sponsored by his at-home workout. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Link below. With all due respect, you are conforming to common dictates of taste but cartoon versions of it. The I, shade? Is this RuPaul's Drag Race <laughs> The Reading episode? <laughs> I just couldn't be with that doctor because he looks like he's like about to like throw a punch. I know, it's like, why did you allow me to come to this appointment? <laughs> he's like, yesterday you called and confirmed that I was coming in and now you're just bullying me the whole time. <laughs> like, what, is this all just for fun or? <laughs> it is gonna turn into a blabble house, I see. <laughs> I'm not looking for someone to feel like they're the lead. I wanna feel like I'm the one leading. I know what I want and I know what my vision is. I mean, I, I just need the doctor to do what they've trained to do, which is dissection. Those abs, like, what more does he want? I guess he just wants even big abs, like, I don't know. I have to think about this because you do understand that these are all prone to complications. So I, it's not like saying, okay, I'm gonna go sign you up. Well, as I, much thought as you've put into it, mm -hmm. I deserve the same yeah. in terms of being able to put thought into this as well. He's doing it for the cameras. He's saying, I don't know if I wanna do it. Then right when the camera's cut off, okay, coming tomorrow. I know, literally probably two minutes. Okay, okay, put the anesthesia on his mouth a minute, yeah. cut open your 
just done. Literally, camera crew goes in the elevator. He's asleep on the bed, upside down, stomach <laughs> ripped open to put in the implants. <laughs> Dr. Hayworth, we see you. I still don't get how that's healthy. Like, how does your food digest? Well, he said that it's prone to complication because, like, imagine your stomach. You're rolling around in bed, like, do you do this? No one does this, but like, if you did, <laughs> then like, they flip, they move, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I feel like you could die or something. Just hire a trainer. I feel like usually I don't get like this, but I'm kind of mad at the guy. Like, I, I understand. It's, it's his choice, but I'm mad. Yeah. <laughs> it's not his choice anymore. Like, we will president. Like, I would say, like, Lucas, you need to sign the bill. We're, like, oh, we're gonna yeah. put him in the cage for this. Oh my god, if I was president, I would be like, if you want to get plus surgery, like, you run it past to me, and I look at the pictures, and <laughs> I decide, like, and everyone's like, wait, don't you want to worry about, like, healthcare or, like, something more important? And I'm like, no, like, I'm gonna spend most of my day, like, seeing if, like, people from random states, <laughs> if they are allowed to get the plastic surgery. Do it, like, but or with or without it. Yeah. Then and also, like, like, picking so and people are like, I know you don't want it. Yeah. But we're gonna make you do something. Oh, that'd be so cool. Someone gets a letter that says, you won the lottery, you're getting plastic surgery, even if you don't want it, <laughs> you're forced to. What I sort of go with my motto is, if you can't give me what I want, then tell me up front and be up front, and I'd rather say, peace out. I'll do my own thing. And, I, and I'll find somebody that will be open to working with me, but I just need someone that's kind of forward thinking. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm worried about him because I feel like if all the actual plastic surgeons say no, like he's gonna find someone on Craigslist and he's gonna go to some barber shop and in the back room they're gonna do it. And it's not That's gonna what be I good. Was thinking. Oh, he's I'm worried. Go on the table and cut his own stuff. Justin, stop. We love you though, we accept you. Well, thank you guys for coming along on this journey. By the way, we have a podcast. All the links are below. You can watch it on YouTube, you can listen on any podcast platform, Spotify, iTunes, it's everywhere. We talk about only important topics like when Lindsay Lohan's gonna release more music. It's great. Listen, subscribe, follow us on social media, comment below if you'd get muscles injected into your body. <laughs> and if you would, would you do it at home or by a doctor? And would you insert implants or chicken breasts? I do frozen chicken breasts, it's way cheaper. Oh yeah, maybe some salmon. Maybe grill it before so it can Yeah, grilled salmon. It. That sounds so good. <laughs> Bye! Bye.